it is so inclusive. It doesn't matter whether you're studying air levels, music, whether you're just starting in nursery, whether you have additional needs, whether music is all you want to do. It's music is for everybody. You're given a God given ability to enjoy music. Every child needs to experience that. Whether the first instrument they pick up is their instrument, whether it's their fifth instrument, try it. And whether you're an adult, whether you're retired, whatever, try it because it'll just bring so much more to your whole life. I started playing piano when I was five um, because that was actually the first um, piece of furniture my parents bought. Before they had a table or a chair, they had a piano. <laughs> so I started playing at a very young age and then really got into it from there. Um, we had a school choir at primary school and then I went on to secondary and my secondary teacher, Liz Booth, um, was really, you know, you meet these teachers who are inspirational. Well, Liz was my inspirational teacher and um, she really got me going and passed and told me about a really good singing teacher, Elizabeth Buckley, who got me started on singing and the rest is history, really. Support is crucial. It doesn't have to be at home because not every child has that environment at home. Sometimes we will hear of um, the only supportive interaction is the teacher or the class teacher. And if, they, if we can touch a child's life in that way to let them know that there is more than whatever's going on at home, brilliant because it gives them a road out, it gives them a glimmer of opportunity. There's absolutely nothing at all to say you have to have your parents both in work, you have to have both parents. So any child that's in challenging circumstances, music lets you break free to, to talk, to, to play, to join fellow musicians and just experiment with music. I want the best for every single child that I teach or that I come across or that we work with at Tees Valley Music Service. And I want to make sure that every single child actually fulfills his or her dreams, whether that is musical or whether it's, you know, going on and becoming whatever they want to be in their life as far as their profession is concerned, but maybe always having a musical background. There are a few families I can think of where uh, their children don't engage with them or with other children, but by experiencing music, it gives them the ability to communicate. Uh, it can calm down the anxious. It can it let them express how they're feeling when they can't verbalize. I started music at the age of three, roughly. Um, started off playing on my granddad's organ, um, just playing single finger notes, copying what he was doing. He couldn't read music, he just literally learned by ear. There was an advertisement in the paper one day for um, a new Yamaha music school that was opening in the town centre. And it was for open for all ages to come along and just have a go. So mum and dad took me along, loved it, wouldn't get off the organ, ended up staying for about three hours. So they went and did some shopping and then came back. There's another family I can actually think of where their child had very sensory complex needs and they knew he reacted to music and the first instrument that, that, that was too tactile so then they moved on to something else and moved on to something else and they've actually found an instrument that enables their child to to be a family member um, yeah yeah it's that brings an awful lot of joy when you know We've, we've hit it, we've, we've done that. If the school that you're in and your parents value the importance of music, then it helps a great deal. And it's interesting because when I go around to lots of schools, the comments made by lots of teachers are either, I wish I'd learned to play an instrument or I wish I'd stuck at it when I was given the chance. So I think that, that backing from home, the encouragement and the opportunities really helped to keep you engaged. And I know from my own experience, when I went on to secondary, we did a lot of big concerts at school and we went off to singing festivals and all these other social things as well that, that really helped to sort of bring music alive and make it a big part of your life really. Not every student wants to progress, but progression is things like uh, you've had 
a term in school. Are you interested in doing something else? Does the school want to buy in some small group tuition? It, it, whether you want to swap to a different instrument, whether you want to then go and do some singing, join one of our choirs. It's that progression. There is no pressure at all. But it would make sense if you're enjoying it to join like-minded people. We do offer exams. Some of our pupils want to do grade one, two, three, four, five. Some of our pupils will jump straight in at grade five. There's, there's no hard and fast rule. We'll be as flexible as you want to be. Progression is just continuing to enjoy music. Don't turn your back on it. If you get the chance to learn a musical instrument, try it. If you don't like it and you've tried it, that's fair enough. But if you don't try it, you'll never know. It gives you the opportunity to meet new people, visit new places, experience new things, work as a team, make new friends, and gives you a skill that you can use for life. Just think of the pleasure you can give other people if you play something for them, not only for yourself, but the pleasure you can give to others as well. So go for it.